All right, so let's continue to learn um, this problem in interest, that is the probability of not enter a single state, but uh, enter a set of state. So let's uh, denote this uh, calligraphy A to be a set of states. Okay, so this set of states is a subset of our like um, total uh, state space. So we are interested in this following probability, which we denote as beta. It is the probability of given, okay, x zero is of state i, and what is uh, the probability of xk is a subset of this uh, state, this uh, subset of the state space for some k equals 1, 2, 3, m. So this is the probability of, so this is the probability of given, uh, we are at uh, state i at time zero and has, so what is the probability of, the probability of this Markov chain ever enters a state in A by time M. So which means basically we're interested in as long as we've reached the state A for once, okay, then it, it counts, okay. So now let's uh, use the same technique featured in uh, examples in the previous video. First we define, okay, first we define this capital N, and this capital N is the minimum of n such that x sub n, which x sub n is our mark of chain of interest, is in this uh, state A. So uh, the interpretation of this capital N is the first time, so this mark of chain enters the set A. I'll say uh, reached a state in set A. Okay. So then we we define a very similar double W N that is uh, X N if n is less than, I'm sorry, n is less than n is this state A, and uh, if n is greater than uh, or equal to n. So this this A state um, is, is like a virtual state. It can be uh, viewed as the state of whether this markup chain has ever entered 
a or not so okay so here, here here's a, a bit rhetorical but let's say this if this markup chain has entered the set a even once then it means we we have reached this state okay and this state is whether this markup chain has entered a so if it has then it stays this state forever so if this wn okay let, let me make this remark this by this markup chain uh, we mean the original like uh, xn but now for this new markup chain which is wn so if wn let me say if wn reaches a and this means okay so this means xn has ever been in in a then wn stays at a okay so because we have entered this a even once it doesn't matter if we leave um, this state space a later but if we have entered this state space okay this state so this one this a state is reached and we are staying there because we have entered this a uh, scripted a uh, state space so for this new markup chain it stays at this state a so now we want to uh, compute the transition probability um, for this new markup chain wn okay and we look so so first let's look at um, this uh, uh, markup chain wn the state i first let's consider a state i uh, that is not in this uh, calligraphic a and we are interested in uh, the transition probability of uh, q so uh, q i j and uh, which is uh, so q i j is a transition probability for uh, wn okay so first of all um i mean if we haven't reached a okay reach this uh, calligraphic a this uh, state space so i mean it should be the same because uh because before so before we have ever entered this state space uh, wn is the same as x sub n so it means if i is not an a j is not probability means uh um as i at n and the probability of j at m plus one so and right here this means um i mean um at n so we're not in a and at n plus one uh we're not in a either which means and um, to if we only consider these two time steps we have never entered uh, this uh, calligraphic a state and that means um, these two are the same because uh, because xn and xm plus one are not in a okay and this means so if we start our clock at uh, uh, x sub n 
So we have never entered uh, the state in calligraphic N. So, which means uh, it's the same. So these two are the same. And then if we consider uh, QI, okay, 2A. So this is, this is very straightforward as well. So it is nothing but the sum of Pij such that, so J is a state in the set A, okay? So if I is not in this uh, state space A. Lastly, this is one. So if this Wn ever reached this state A, that is, so for Wn, this state is dependent on the behavior of X sub N. It's a little bit twisted, but uh, um, you guys will see um, in the subsequent examples. So lastly, uh, we're back to our original um, question, which is, uh, which is we're interested in beta. So uh, beta is a probability of uh, X sub K is an A uh, for some k equals one till m given that uh, x zero is i and this i so this i is not in the set a it's nothing but basically the probability of this wm is in state a Okay, so because W, the stochastic process is this Markov chain W, once entered A, it stays at A forever. So this equation or this event means, so WM is at state A. And keep this in mind, the Markov chain W depends on the behavior of XN and this means, okay, so xm has been in a state in the calligraphic A, okay, given x0 is r. And further, because we know that i is not uh, in A, it means at time zero, this x has never been in calligraphic A. So this x zero is w zero as well. All right. And now this is nothing but um, the transition matrix. So this is, uh, we have uh, m steps. Okay. I'll say uh, m step transition probability. So this is uh, Q to the nth power, and we're from state I to state A. So this is I and A, 